For every package, food delivery and purchase made, frontline workers in warehouses, trucks and factories are the driving force keeping these industries on track. This is certainly a place where, uh, you know, prioritizing vaccination would have a huge role to play in changing the trajectory and really bringing down the, uh, the spread of the disease. Infectious diseases physician Dr. Suman Chakrabarty says vaccinating frontline workers in Ontario could be a game changer, especially in the region's hardest hit. It's important for us to you know, really put resources in to protect them because uh, uh, this is one unfortunate area that's invisible but has been impacted very hard by COVID, much more than the rest of the population. Amazon was ordered by public health officials to shut down a facility in Brampton on Friday after 240 positive cases were reported in recent weeks. At least 10 of those involved variants. Roughly 5,000 workers have been instructed to quarantine and self-isolate until March 27th. Mayor Patrick Brown says this is an example of how vaccines could break the cycle of transmission that has been happening in his city. We've had outbreaks disproportionately amongst our essential workers workers in Peel region and in Toronto. And if we want to protect the rest of the province, we protect our essential workers. When asked if the province would prioritize the group, retired General Rick Hillier said the rollout remains unchanged. So the plan for them is that they will be included in either mass vaccination clinics or else in pharmacy channels as they roll through or in some of the uh, public health units. However, Hillier did suggest there could be opportunities for big businesses to help with vaccine distribution at some point in the future. Perhaps many uh, private companies volunteering to set up a mass vaccination clinic in their own factories, using their own occupational health personnel to do the vaccine and look after their workers when their turn comes. As for Amazon, the company has made it clear it plans to appeal the shutdown order, given it does not believe the data supports a full closure. The region's medical officer of health says vaccines for frontline workers will still largely depend on supply. Uh, certainly another logical group uh, for consideration uh, once we've uh, uh, it ticked off the tiers of those who are really at the, at the highest risk of uh, mortal and severe outcomes at this time. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.